Welcome. So uh, OpenAI just released uh, the new Responses API, along with a web search tool, file search tool, and computer use via the API. Uh, also, uh, also the uh, new agent SDK, previously known as the Swarm, which was very really useful. I'm glad they're actually uh, building more on this, but the SDK is currently not live. Uh, but we'll begin. Uh, first, by uh, talking about the documentation changes, so you can actually uh, make use of it. Playground has been updated. We'll take a look at that. And this is just a note that Assistance API eventually will be deprecated. So they uh, suggest you slowly start, um, you know, uh, refactoring your code to use the new Assistance, uh, the Responses API. So uh, the changes in the documentation, you can see if you go to text and prompting or any other place, now at the top right, you can see the new responses API and the chat completions. Uh, responses API is a superset of the chat completions API. So uh, it is recommended that you probably use responses API going forward. So if you go to text and prompting and switch to chat completions, this is the but this is the API call that we know and we've been using. Uh, it actually is a messages parameter. So the thing that changes in response API is that now that's just called input and it's client that responses that create. And it turns out that actually this responses API can auto auto manage the uh, user input. If we actually go here to conversation state, you can manually manage the conversation state as before, uh, but now you send it as input and you can maintain a, a history or apparently the, uh, the, as far as I understand, the uh, conversations are already automatically managed. For example, you can make a call, get a response, and then you can get a second response. And these will actually include all previous messages, as far as I understand. And if you wanted to find out more about the tools, you can go into using built-in built, built -in tools, pass them as a parameter. These are web search. For example, is built-in. The API will automatically perform that. Uh, there's the web search documentation here, which we will uh, use file search documentation, and also the computer use documentation, and also the agent's documentation here, the agent SDK still being prepared, I believe. And there is also the a hookbook, which I'm trying to find here real quick. Yeah, there's also a cookbook uh, that was just released. Web search and states with responses API. We'll take a look at this as well. Uh, just to get ourselves familiarized with this. So let's go ahead and uh, so click on text and prompting. And let's copy this code and come back here and create autoconvo.py. And let's just paste this here. We'll also test how Claude can hand, will be able to handle this new uh, documentation. Sorry, this new uh, API call. Uh, we do have our rules here, which I'll copy into a text file, uh, user rules at txt. I'm not sure if this is going to actually interfere with our uh, situation because we do talk about chat completions here, but uh, it'll be a good test. So uh, from here, let's just say uh, to the, and I'm going to use the edit mode because agent can get carried away. Please create a chat application with this, which works from the terminal. This is the new API. So uh, it automatically keeps track of the conversation history. Let's just see what it does with this. Let's just try to build a, a quick chat bot. See if it'll actually keep the uh, information. So it only it only needs really to take in user input. Uh, another caveat is that uh, GPT 4.0 is the only model, I believe, and the mini is that that is uh, supported. We had the 
uh, it wants to see go to the threads and stuff like that. This is not assistance API. Mention it to it. This is not assistance API, so don't use threads. Uh, everything is actually handled for us automatically. Just use the input parameter. Yeah, let's let's give it another try. Uh, also, before continuing, let's go to the playground while cursor is working on that. And if you come to the playground, you will see that uh, the playground has been updated, uh, and you can actually include uh, new tools. You can actually add the, a regular function, a file search tool or a web search tool. Let's go ahead and hit the web search tool. There's also some configuration settings such as the country, uh, country, region, time zone, and also search context size. Let's just go ahead and edit as is. Uh, these options are available via the API as well. And we can just ask it, uh, what is the current NVIDIA stock price? And we'll see that it's actually searching the web. And uh, this is about right, I believe. No, it does perform a web search. But now if you try to change the model to O3 Mini, for example, this doesn't support web search. Uh, if you try to change it to O1, it doesn't support. Uh, GPT-40 4.5 preview doesn't support. So GPT-40 is the only model. I believe that supports it. So you can actually uh, play around here with the new tools. If you wanted to change the, these uh, options such as temperature and mix tokens, which is up to 16,000, used to be in the right side, but now you can change it with this button right here. So coming back here, uh, I'm trying to see if it, let's take a look here. Okay, it's using the full input. Uh, but it is it is still trying to append to the conversation. Uh, we can say here, please do not keep conversation history as it's already automatically handled by the API. Let's try this. So this kind of stuff is going to be a little bit difficult to overcome because the new models just not, it's a new API update and they're not going to have access to the latest documentation. Conversation ID. I don't even think we need to pass in conversation ID. Now let's take a look at the documentation here real quick. Uh, conversation states, uh, manually manage the company API for conversation state. I suppose we do have to pass the uh, response ID. That's right. Okay, is it, uh, because when the response is returned, now this response is an ID which contains the conversation history. Now let's accept this and run it to see if it's actually working. Okay, you know, uh, let's actually copy this part of the documentation. Uh, it says, even when using previous response ID, all previous input tokens for response in the chain are built as input tokens to the API. Uh, let's copy this part and give it its context and run it again. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, some kind of a learning curve, but also especially for cursor, since it's not going to know the latest. Uh, okay, we can actually create a chat app.py. Yeah, it still, it still wants to use the role user. Uh, I don't think this is, this is going to work. It needs to be a string, I think. You can see, say my name is Echo, and say, what is my name? Your name is Echo. 
Yeah, so it is uh, not keeping track of it manually. That's that's fine. Let's accept this so we can see it more clearly. User input. Previous response ID. If you have a previous response ID, we use it to continue the conversation. Now let's just say that the input just needs to be a string. The input always is a string. You do not have to create a list. You see, it wants to create a list just as it would with the messages. Yeah, when you're using previous, uh, previous response ID, you do not have to. Yeah, user, we use the user input directly. So this should be uh, good to go now. Let's, let's test it. My name is Echo, let's say, and then let's say secret number is 42. Now let's ask what is my name? What is the secret number? Uh, secret, secret number is 42. Yeah, so uh, this works. So we can actually rename this to auto convo, auto convo history. And let's now do the same thing, but uh, keeping track of the conversation state manually. Let's grab this documentation from here uh, and paste it. Let's actually remove this auto convo and delete this file. That, that was just the example. Since we are giving it the uh, actual, let me actually create a new composer. Now here, let's say, this is the new uh, responses API from OpenAI. Please create a chatbot that works from the terminal while keeping track of the conversation history manually by appending to the list. To fix this appending to the list. Okay, so we can have these two examples. And of course, these are going to be available at the Patreon post. You can download it and continue from. Uh, wherever this is left off. Store false. Uh, I don't think we there is a store. Oh, there is a store parameter, I see. So we pass the input as a list, just as the messages list. Uh, and Store false. I wonder what this store false is. Let's go to API reference. And let's search for responses. Okay. So the new responses are API. These are all the parameters store. Whether to store the generated model response for later retrieval via API. Defaults to true. Maximum number, number of messages to keep in history. And here is our call. So, yeah, so we're, going to, we're going to trim it manually. Store false. Okay, we are setting it to store false because we are keeping the uh, conversation history manually. I guess that is good to know. Yeah, so this is going to introduce some complications, but I guess the the fact that now we we can allow API to manage the conversation history automatically is going to be convenient. Let's run this and say uh, let's go ahead and send the. Messages. My name is Echo. Secret number is 42. What is the secret number? And what is my name? Echo. Okay. So we are now keeping track of it uh, separately. Let's go to the uh, dashboard and see if these, there's also the new in the dashboard traces. 
This is for agents SDK. We're not going to take a look at it. Assistance API used to keep uh, track of the threads. I was wondering if this responses API gets stored here. It's also this new logs. I guess this is where you find uh, the logs. Oh, I see. So we can see not found in this project because we did not save it. Maybe that's why. Maybe maybe this this needs some uh, debugging, but you can actually see your completions and responses in the logs. I'm not sure if this is just this was just added, uh, but this is pretty cool. You can actually see the conversation logs that you perform via the API. Okay, so that is how the new responses API work. We looked at manually uh, managing manually or automatically managing conversation history. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the web search via API. Well, let's go ahead and name this manual convo history. Like I said, you can download these from the uh, 1000X Lab Patreon post. And uh, I guess our user rules didn't really affect it much when we give it adequate instructions. So that's good to know because I still kept, kept it in my user, user rules. So now let's go ahead to the documentation again and go to web search. So this is how the web search works. I'll put a model response. So let's copy all of this. As a matter of fact, uh, we can also try to do this. Let's copy this URL and... Tap in bed. How do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000X cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, your coding. 